Hey guys, Lisa here from Call That Girl, giving you a quick outlook tip of the day. I'm on video today and I'm gonna talk you through this. I'm not gonna show you because a lot of folks have emailed me saying, well, I don't have two screens, it's hard. So I was like, you know what, here's what we're gonna do today is my client, her name is Star and she's a star in my book also. She has Outlook.com for her calendar and she wanted to know how to back it up because it makes sense to back it up every blue moon because it's in the cloud and if something bad happens, you can have an easy backup, okay? So first thing I want you to do is open up your Outlook and this should work for most versions except for 2003 and seven, I don't think it'll work. But go to file in your upper left corner, then go down to open and export. Then go to import export. And isn't this lovely? I'm telling you how to do it and I'm doing it too. Okay, then click export to a file, hit next, pick Outlook data file, or you can do comma, rate, excuse me, comma separated values too, that one's just fine. Um, in fact, we'll do the comma separated values. Hit next. Then in there, you're gonna see a whole bunch of stuff if you have a lot of things going on in your Outlook. You want to uh, go over to the account that you wanna back up, and it'll say the your email at outlook.com underneath there is a little calendar and just click on it and hit next now here it says save exported file as okay click browse now here you're going to see a window pop up and you have to pick where you want that saved by default your outlook files is in your documents folder that's where i'd save it and here's why because if you do backup um online backup the documents typically by default get saved there. I wouldn't save it to your C drive or to the app data folder because online backup programs typically don't get that unless it's, um, unless it's told to back that up by the IT administrator. So put it in your documents folder and in the Outlook files and then name it. Uh, I always like to name it today's date and Outlook backup, whatever. And then hit okay then hit next and I wouldn't mess with the custom fields button a lot of people like doing that I would just close it and say finish okay and then you get a choice of set date range now you can go ahead and check uh, change the dates to however you want however long you started your calendar or whatever and then hit okay and it will make a CSV backup which you can you know import back in later or manipulate it however you want it's also a good tip on how to clean up your calendar also because you can see it in like an Excel format, which is really handy. And that's how I do a lot of my cleanups for my folks. That's it in a nutshell. It's pretty easy how to back up your outlook.com calendar. And if you need my help uh, for any other outlook troubleshooting or anything, you can call me at 612-865-4475. You'll get my service, leave them a message, or you can email me Lisa at call that girl biz. Please, be sure to like, share, and subscribe this video. I really appreciate it. There's also some other notes down below that you can click on to find out more about my services. Thanks, folks. That's it. Bye-bye.